Okay, this is the session. Uh, this is just a demo. Uh, it may not take the whole half hour, but uh, we'll see how we go. Um, what I'm going to do, what I'm going to show you is how OpenRefine works, how you can use it, and uh, some things I've done. I've been using it heavily over the past few months uh, for some uh, cleaning up of some institutional data that we have. So um, this is the main homepage of OpenRefine. It's, it's open source software. You can go to openrefine.org um, and get it there. Um, there is a official release. If you go to the download page, you'll see that. Um, that doesn't have all the features that I'm going to show you today. So I'm, I'm actually going to, and you may be interested in using the latest GitHub version, which is available from their GitHub site. Um, and if you've ever used GitHub, it's uh, the very straightforward procedure of cloning uh, the Git thing. And I have it in a little window over here. So, so one thing about OpenRefine that I should mention is, um, uh, which is different from some other tools that you may use, <laughs> it, it runs locally on your own computer. It's not uh, some central service. Um, I don't think it's in, uh, anybody's installed it that way. It, it probably could be used that way uh, if you want to, but it's very easy to set it up on your own if you have some of the development tools like Git and, and, uh, or even or at least Java uh, installed on your system, then you can use it locally, as I'm going to do on this laptop. So um, so you can do a git clone. That takes a few minutes. I'm not going to do it here. Uh, and then you just do a build. Uh, build. Uh, you can just do up slash refine build. And that just takes a few seconds. Um, and I'm actually going to run it from another window, which is lost here. Where is it? Okay. My window's moved around. Uh, oh, here it is. Okay. So to run it, all you have to do is dot slash refine in the directory where it was built. And it will <coughs> start the project running. And it brings up a web browser pointed at the OpenRefine interface. So the interface itself is a web interface. Um, and what you see here is uh, it's actually got some projects that I've already been working on. Uh, one of them is a copy of what I'm going to demo to you today. So it says demo test on it. but. I'm going to actually start from the beginning, which is just creating a project. Um, you just have to find a file, which is, I can't uh, demo. Demo accounts, right? You open the file, it shows what's in the file. Um, it, it can take all sorts of different formats. This is just a plain CSV file. Um, and you'll see what it has on it is a number of <coughs> number of institutions in our data with an account ID, which is um, you know an internal ID of some sort, name, display name, which is a, a variant of the name, address, city. So this is you know typical sort of data that you might have uh, either with institutions or, or people or something else that you're trying to clean up and uh, link to stuff. So um, this is the uh, this is the project creation page, and it this is it just gives you a chance to if there's anything wrong with the way it's formatted, but everything worked perfectly here. So we're just going to create the project, and oh no, update pre preview. Oops, oh create project. Yeah, um, and there it is. So it shows. Um, shows that same information in a project format. And you'll notice uh, it has the data over here, and then it has some things over here for filtering and also an undo redo log. We'll look at that in a minute. But uh, basically, it keeps track of everything you do to your data. So if you, if you do something that you don't like, you can uh, step back and go back to the way it was earlier. And, and you can also export that uh, log of changes. So you can apply the same changes to other data if that is something that you need to do. Um, <clears throat> all right, what we're going to do here is 
their very basic reconciliation, which is actually very nice, because built into Open Refine is a Wikidata reconciliation piece. Um, so what that's doing is it's going, it's looking at the names of the things in my list here. It's actually finding what kinds of things they are in Wikidata. And it can tell these are institutions of some sort. There's some universities, high schools, libraries. Um, I'm going to have it reconcile against, instead of just one of those types, I'm going to use the whole organization. Uh, not organic chemistry. Organization. And we're going to reconcile them. And this, um, <clears throat> of course, depends on, it'll, it'll take some time depending on how much data you have. If you, take, if you have thousands of uh, entries, it's going to take you know, maybe an hour to do. With uh, a dozen, it just takes a few seconds. And you'll see that it's linked up, uh, most of them, with Wikidata records. Um, in fact, on the left, you'll see it's, it's created two filters uh, or facets, uh, one with the judgment, which is a little covered by the Tagesspiegel here, but um, you'll see it says matches. <coughs> Actually, it didn't match most of them. It matched five of them automatically. And then seven are not matched. We can look at the seven that are not matched here, if I just click on here. And um, then we can work on figuring out why they didn't match and, and finding a Wikidata match for them. So uh, first one here is a Max Planck thing, and it's, uh, <coughs> it's got a candidate match, which is library, but we actually want to match to the, to the real institution, not to the library. So I'm going to click on here to bring up the, the link from Wikidata. And you'll see it says it's part of this thing. So we'll just take the QID here. And <clears throat> so you can either match every cell that has that same name or just match one cell. I typically just match the one cell because I know that my data usually has just one record for institutions. But if you have many records for the same institution, you can, you can do it all at once here uh, with the same label. And so that's going to match that. So now we have Max Planck Institute linked um, in that case. And so there's some other examples here. Let's see. This is uh, oh. actually I'm going to cancel this right now. We're going to cut and paste. So this is uh, something that's in. A, uh, oops. It's an institute, so the, the name didn't match partly because of the, um, the extra bits in the name that probably aren't part of the, um, let's see, I think it was mechanics, right? Uh, okay, we want the institute. And there it is. So you have to know something about the thing that you're trying to link to, but if you can find it, you can match it. Uh, can I see that? With just a piece of the name in Wikidata. Um, okay, there's some other ones. So uh, sometimes you're not going to be able to find enough in your data to match things. The Logan High School here. Um, my uh, my data set just has absolutely nothing, no other information about it, just the name. And there's plenty of them in Wikidata, so it's obviously not going to match. Um, let's see. University of Latvia, this is an odd one. But it uh, the reason it didn't quite match up is because um, the, the name in my data says the University of Latvia, but it has actually University of Latvia. It's clearly the, clearly the right thing there. So we're just going to link that up. You can just click on a checkbox to link it directly. Um, there's uh, so this would have matched. One of the wonderful things about Wikidata, of course, is the um, multilinguality. Uh, so we can look up for this Polish name, and you'll find that there it is: the Institute of Mathematics of the Polish Academy of Sciences, on the first. Uh, 
first thing there. That's clearly the one we want, so we can link those up. <laughs> All right, so we've linked most of them, and I could do the other one too. Uh, the other ones too. The the uh, FHI for Integrita Schaltungen is just misspelled in our records. It should be should be an extra R in that name, and uh, <clears throat> so you can do a search on Wikidata to find. That's the a Fraunhofer Institute. Um, so, uh, so anyway, so th those are those are the ways you can match. Now, so the interesting thing here is to so let's go look at the ones that are now matched. We're going to look at all the matched ones. And uh, OpenFind actually comes with a facility to add data to your to your data set based on Wikidata information. So I can go here again to these these names that have been reconciled. Oh, I'm going to remove the Logan High School one as well. Wait. No, no, no. Uh, wait a second. Oh, yeah. Let me include these ones. Here we go. Wait, wait. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Can't quite read my uh, screen here. Um, okay, we're going to add columns based on reconciled data. So uh, we can do that with edit column, add columns based on reconciled data. And then it comes with up with a list of, it's actually come up with a list of uh, typical Wikidata properties that are associated with these institutions um, in my list here. Or maybe associated with, some, with, with these types of institutions, these types of uh, Wikidata entities. So let's add let's add headquarters location if we have that. Uh, we can add located in the administrative. Some of them have that instead of headquarters location. And it shows up. So you can add multiple columns at once. You can also add things based on the labels in Wikipedia. So P17 is country. Uh, you can actually follow paths. P17, P2A gives the uh, three-letter country code, and that's the same uh, code as nominally my data set was using there. So, uh, so we can add these, and then you can, you know, if there's external identifiers you want to add or other things, you can just add them to the list, and it's going to pull those in as new columns in my data set. So I can export this data <coughs> and compare um, compare things. So uh, if we do a, I can export it, but I can also compare things right here. Um, so I can do a comparison between this this uh, country code and the country code that was in my original data, and see if they match. Um, Oops, sorry, add a facet, custom facet. And this has a whole um, <coughs> a whole uh, expression language, which is pretty similar to some programming languages. Um, and it has a help that helps you figure out how to do this. But here it's here I'm just doing a, a comparison between the value on that column and the value in the country column, which was the original one. And it shows... Um, three of them did not match. So why didn't they match? Uh, <laughs> three different reasons. One is because uh, even though the data, our data set was supposedly using the three-letter country codes, in fact, for United States, they put in the United States instead of <laughs> USA. Uh, second one is somebody seems to be very confused about what the country code is for Switzerland. Um, it's not Swaziland, I think, is what that is. Um, <laughs> and then the third one is uh, there seems to be some conflict between... So somehow it has University of Latvia, but it also has it in Warsaw, Poland. So that might be something to look into the data and see what's going on there or figure out what you're doing. One of the nice things about OpenRefine, though, is you can, uh, you can edit your own data as well and fix up problems like this. So I can just change USA 
United States to USA, and I can apply it to all the data in my spreadsheet, in my data, and then it, that problem goes away. Um, so that is actually uh, pretty much everything I had I wanted to show. I'm going to remove these filters and just go back to the original data here and see if you guys had any questions. That's it. <laughs> Nobody? It's very easy. <laughs> There's a lot more stuff. Um, I should mention that uh, Antonin uh, Delpoich, who is a Wikidata contributor, couldn't be here, but he's worked a lot on this. And he um, he's actually working on an export to quick statements. So you could take data like this, run it through OpenRefine, link it to Wikidata items, and then export updates. So like if, if uh, you had an ID in here that wasn't in Wikidata, you could export that as a quick statements list. and. Um, you know, update Wikidata directly, almost directly from OpenRefine. So uh, it's very nice yeah. and integrated. And in the meantime, I've got a question for you in the room. Would already use it or at least heard about it, OpenRefine? Yeah, not bad. Good. I have a just question when you are searching for the uh, for the name. Yeah. Um, you have there just just labels and no descriptions. So um, it's uh, sometimes very uneasy. For example, if you can, you can uh, ch choose new match, for, you can try. Yeah, for example, this 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 this. Logo. Right, this one here. Yeah. For example. Oh, if sorry. If you could, you could, you can write there, for example, Prague, <laughs> and you will see what is problem. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't show descriptions. Yeah, no, that is true. <laughs> that would that would probably be nice. Yeah. Um, so that, that depends on, uh, this is using the, um, uh, the, it's using this Wikidata reconciliation for OpenRefine interface. Um, I think, I'm not sure who wrote that. Anybody in this room? <laughs> but, um, but you know, that's, that's a, an API that obviously can be modified to do better on that kind of thing, I guess. Um, and you can write those, uh, you know, if you have another data source or a, another wiki base instance, you could write a, a, a reconciliation interface for that and, and link to that instead of wiki data. Uh, so regarding this reconciliation, so, um, uh, I see it works quite well for names, but it will work like for any properties. For example, I have a yeah. database of, uh, some stuff I want to upload to Wikidata, but so it looks perfect to match, like for example, IDs that we have currently on Wikidata uh, from some database and our database. So we can clearly and super quickly remove all the data that we already have on Wikidata. So we make sure that we don't have any duplicates, right? Yes. Um, okay. Yeah, one of the things I, I forgot to show you uh, when you're doing the reconcile. So I've, what I've done here is I've stepped back to before I did reconciliation. <laughs> um, but when you bring this up, uh, you can actually add additional properties. So, so you see the other um, things in here. I could have I added, uh, I think I can add P17 slash P298 here, for example. Um, and it would try to reconcile that with the country code to, to make sure that it only matched where that was matching. Or if I had an, another ID, and, the, and that was an ID in Wikidata, it would, it would try to match that ID directly to the Wikidata records. And so you can, you can enhance the, the matching process and, and adjust it a bit. Anyway, it's worth, worth using. <laughs> All right. Any more question? You're sure? Last word. One, two, three. Okay, catch me later if you need to. All right. Thank you. Uh, what time is it? <laughs> <laughs>